Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi guys, uh, so I'm going to tie a really simple sunray. Now you've seen me tie sunrays before. You can use goat, you can use, you can layer them up using a at all manner of different things to build up your wing. But you can tie a really, really simple one as well. So here we have, this is 25 mil or roughly an inch of uh, just clear 3.2 mil plastic outer tube. Uh, I'm going to use an 80 black thread for this. I'm just going to wax the thread. And we're essentially just tying it on at the head here. So, white bucktail. This just supports the wing, helps keep it up out of the out of the hook. So we're going to set that back maybe one and a half, two times the length of the tube. I'm just going to swap to the other hand and cut that off straight. Set it on top so that the ends of the cut ends here come up to just behind the flange of the uh, tube that I created. And I'm just going to use my nail and just flatten the bunch out. So that sort of splays it a little bit on top. I'm going to take a single strand of silver crystal hair here. I'm going to place it out so that it's the length of the bucktail. Then fold it back over and tie over those the bent end and trim that length so the two are the same. And I said for the wing what I'm simply going to use is black fox. So if you take a little bunch of black fox, now obviously the better quality the better here because it will have that sort of natural taper to it. So I'm just going to take that, I'm going to set it up on top, swap hands, trim that off and the same trick as we did before. I'm just going to have the cut end up to the back of the flange of the eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of clear varnish. I'm going to varnish about an inch or so of my thread and wrap over that. And then to finish it off we want some peacock hurl. So for me, the best hurls for these are actually not up at the eye. They're on the actual stalk of a, of a peacock feather. So just take a few from down there. If you want to be fancy, you can take, you can match them up from either side. I'm going to match the tips up a little bit here. And I'm usually utilizing this curvature here. I'm going to set that up on top. Tie it in. And, trim it back. and that's our flight tied, so we just need to sort the head. So we're using a black thread. Just neaten up your head. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make it with my thread. So I'm just going to varnish a couple of inches or so of my tying thread. I need to wax my spool inside it and finish onto that. Then we'll take the clear varnish again. Rotate the fly around. 
and that's it. So that's a sun ray about as simple as you can possibly tell it. As I said, the better quality fox you have, the better. This one, as you can see, the under fur uh, creates that sort of teardrop shape to it, and it has this nice sort of taper out to it. So that is uh, our simple sun ray tide. So very effective fly. Hopefully you liked our video. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, check out all the other channels or all of all the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you want to keep up to date with my content as I upload it, then hit the subscribe button, which is appearing in the bottom right hand corner now. If you're interested in watching more of my videos tonight, then there should be links appearing to specific videos and playlists based on the choice of video that you made tonight. Until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.